Okay, everybody, here we are. Update on Mr. Hope. Hey, baby. See, look how I'm standing. I'm doing good. But he still has no suckle, so he can't suck on a bottle yet. He can't suck on mama. We tried. So, here's what we do. Here's the tube. I have marked where, how far I want the tube to go down by measuring from his mouth to his stomach, like that. Then I put a mark there. As I'm feeding the tube down him, I can tell when to stop by the mark. I'm not gonna show you the process because I'm not sure that that's okay for YouTube, but I do recommend that if you're a goat farmer that breeds, that you learn how to do this. Um, I learned from a local friend um, and I suggest you do the same. I know it's scary. My uh, friend that told me how to do it, she said, Cheryl, you either do it or the baby dies. You have a choice because I said, what if I kill the baby? And she said, you have no choice. The baby's going to die if you don't. So either way, you know, you have to do it. So once I did it, I found that it's not that hard. So let me show you what we're gonna do. This here is colostrum, which is a little bit of milk mixed in it. So it's not quite as yellow. Um, He's had full colostrum all evening, and I'm just starting to, because we're getting low on my stash and what mama has, I started milking a little goat, or putting a little goat milk with it to thin it down a little. And this is what I will put in the end of the tube once I have the tube inserted into the baby. You can see, this is a, let's see, two ounce syringe. I'm gonna give him a half an ounce. You can see how little he is by this syringe right here. I know the camera is so hard to see and I'm sitting down here. This is my ottoman. I put this right at my table, right beside me, so that once I get him ready, he'll be ready to go. Right, Mr. Hope? I'm going to wrap him in this baby blanket and I will wrap him like you swaddle a baby. I mean, he will be so wrapped that he cannot move. The reason for that is you don't want them to move. Um, of course, they don't like being tube fed, just like you would not like a tube being put down your throat. Um, and you don't want him to move. Look how big my hand is compared to him. He's so tiny, one pound, one pound, yes. I carry him back and forth in my little tote right here from the barn to the house and it don't even feel like I have anybody in there. He's so tiny. But we went and seen Mama and we're doing good. Yes, he enjoyed that. So now it's time to eat some more. So we're going to do that. So if you want to watch Mr. Hope's journey, subscribe to our channel and keep watching.